Hey guys, um, it's me, Taylor, and this is my one year on testosterone update. Um, it has been such a crazy year. Um, it, it's so hard to even just to start, but the first thing I want to say is that I am so glad that I recorded all of these things that happened and that I have video of all of it and then I can look back and all of it um, I actually just spent like the past hour looking through like all the old videos and everything um, I'm not very tech savvy um, when it comes to video editing and I would love to like make a video that's like you know little like glimpses of all of my videos you know just to show the update but I'm not that cool but anyway I, I did I just spent the last hour um, watching that and um, you know, just kind of like reliving those moments and those simple victories and everything and, you know, like my first tee shot and, you know, getting top surgery and finding out when my top surgery date was and my benefit show and all the people I met and all the people that were there for me and, you know, I just, it, it, it was such a good year and, you know, I made a lot of really good friendships um, that, that really saved my life and, you know, kept my head up above the water and, um, told me to keep fighting and that if I kept going that, you know, I would get what I wanted. And so, you know, it's been cool just looking back at all these little moments and, um, I'm now two weeks, um, post-op from my hysterectomy. Um, I... I really shouldn't have made probably the last post-op video. It was good that I made it when I was still on pain meds, but um, it got progressively worse. Um, I actually ended up with a really bad infection from it, and so I just got medicine today. I actually spent my one year on tea at the doctor pretty much all day, which was kind of sucky, but, you know, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. And, um, no, so I got medicine for that today. So I got a really bad infection, and... Um, so that was really painful. I don't, uh, it kind of like hindered me because I really want um, bottom surgery, but like after the hysterectomy now, I'm like kind of scared because like my experience was so bad, and like I've talked to other people that had their hysterectomies and like their experiences weren't as bad as mine. Which I mean, I don't know. I feel like I just had bad luck with that, but um, my emotions have been really um, off kilter. Um, I've upped my tea dose and I'm still not feeling anything. Like, I'm not feeling better. Um, I'm having really bad hot flashes. Um, I feel really indifferent to a lot of things. Um, I've just been kind of, like, lacking emotion. I mean, it's not bad for me, but it's been bad for, like, people around me. Um, so I'm just hoping, like, I'm going into, like, a really bad menopause right now. And um, some people get it, some people don't. But they say that um, genetically, like, if your mom or your big sister had a bad menopause that you will probably have one and my mom had a really bad menopause and so I know that mine's gonna be hell and um well it already is um but yeah I just wanted to make this video as my one year on tea update and I just wanted to thank everybody that was there and um this year has been so incredible I mean I like honestly like everything just worked out so well and like flowed together like insanely and it was all part of like God's plan and um I just I feel really blessed um I didn't think that my family was going to ever accept me and I didn't think um that I would ever you know be able to come back home or that I'd be able to go to college or that I'd be able to have a life again outside of working three jobs and slaving and working you know minimum wage and slaving and working 70 hours a week and you know I never thought that I would have that life back and now you know I'm going to college in January and um, you know I've already done one year of college so this is gonna be I'm just gonna keep going until I get my degree in graphic design um, and I, I'm just really excited to have the opportunity to kind of like start again because I feel like I don't know, it feels like the whole past year is like completely surreal because like I don't know, it feels like I was living like a totally different life in Tennessee now that I'm here in Phoenix. And um 
like it's just crazy to think that I was there and I went through all that stuff and and had that benefit show and so many people came out and helped me and just I just learned so much about everything and it was just such a cool experience and I'm so glad I'm documenting everything and um, I'm also in the past few weeks um, I started writing a book um, I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but um, I, I kind of like I, I've been Tumblr I've been on Tumblr for a couple years now and um, I really really like to write and just kind of share my experiences um, I feel like I'm better um, on paper than I am actually like talking face to face um, so I really want to work on writing this book and um, hopefully getting it published in the next few years um, what else I am like I'm awful with math Anyway, I'm, I think I'm more than, yeah, I'm more than six months post-op from top surgery. And so I was just going to show you guys my scars. They're healing up really well. So, like, they don't look, uh, let's take a look. They don't look, um, as bad. So, one side, the other. So, we're getting there. And then I'm still, my, um, hysterectomy scars are still pretty gnarly. But, um working on all that still and um yeah but this video is for everybody that made um, my life possible um thank you for fighting for me thank you for giving me a home thank you for you know helping me and thank you for loving me and giving me everything that i always wanted and everything that i needed and for saving my life I really can't thank you enough. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'm going to keep updating. Um, probably still monthly. Um, I know I slack from time to time. I missed like the, t the nine month on T mark. But um, I'm trying to be really good about it. Um, I started making videos on my camera phone. Because someone told me that that would be better for sound. So I'm taking advice. Um, feel free to follow me on Tumblr. Or on here. And um, thank you guys so much for watching.